Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. I've been getting into this game. This game is quite old now, but it does take me back to the days of Theme Park. For those of you who may be old will remember that. Well, I've been going around and I've been building my park up, you know, and you can see I've got this lovely communal area here, this massive sort of plaza as the entranceway to my park. And off this, I've got all different pathways and normal stuff and whatever. But a lot of people have been saying, and a lot of people have been asking, well, how do I make this sort of park? Well, that's exactly what we're going to go through in this tutorial. Nice, quick and dirty, right? Okay then, so let's talk about plazas and open communal spaces, just like what I've got down here. So straight off the bat, I'm going to click on paths in the bottom right hand side of the screen. I'm also then going to select grid. Great, there's my grid. Now as you can see as I select my grid, I can go up, I can bring more, no problem at all. What I'm going to do is to get rid of the roundedness, I'm going to make sure square edges is selected. And then, quite simply, I'm going to build out a plaza for myself, making sure I don't do anything stupid, like create any gaps or anything like that. But I'm just simply going to click around, make my plaza, just like that, nice and simple. Couldn't be any easier, even though the path construct construction aspect of this game is, I'm going to say, jinky. Uh, and jinky is a nice word I'm using for it. Right, so there you go. There's my plaza. Now what I've done there, you see, is that I've got fairy tale down here and I've got a different color of asphalt up there to mark a transition as well. So there is my plaza. Couldn't be any simpler. Now, as you can see, I've got my lovely plaza here and it's rather sort of like uniform, you know, it, it's rectangular. And we want to put a little bit of a curve in it, right? So what you can do, and this is apparently meant to be a bug, is that you put your curve in like that. And you put it in and then you directly delete it. And you've got a curve. So you go in there, you put something in that, you know, typically that's what you want. And it's a little bit tricky, but that's that's the name of the game. Put it in. Put your piece in. Delete it. And you've got a nice curve. It's dead simple. Dead simple. Completely simple. But apparently, it's a bug. Well, it looks like a game mechanic to me. But either way, you can curve your edges if you want. Uh, and that's fine by me. And that makes things just look a little bit easier and nicer, doesn't it? So there you go. I said it was quick, easy and dirty. That's all for this video. Um, but it's an important skill to know and to have about. And if you don't know, you don't know. And this is an older game, even though there's some videos out there as well. You know, it's worthwhile finding something like this that will just help you. It's all about setting to a grid and selecting a grid. OK, that's what it is. And making sure once you've selected a grid like this, it's all, all about making sure you've got square edges on. If not, you'll have nice rounded edges and all the rest of it. All cool stuff. Thanks for watching. See you soon.